All right, I'm back in my studio today and so excited about it. I wanted to share a really quick tutorial with you on something that I've been wearing to death. They are these little fluffy teddy bear slippers. They're so quick and easy to make, so let's jump to it. All right, so this style is pretty simple. It's just one strap across the top there, across the toes. I'm gonna do one slightly different for this demonstration. I've pre-cut some little strips um, and I've just backed it with a bit of leather um, and all I've done is literally just glued a piece of soft leather on the back there. And I'm going to do kind of like a crossover style sort of like this. So I've got four of those straps to the side there. I've used some scrap veg tan leather that I had lying around. Um, to make some insoles. I actually accidentally cut out two left feet, but because I'm going to be covering these, it doesn't matter, so I'm just going to flip one over. And then I've also got some old I Can Make Shoes leather um, sandal soles, but you can just put a flat um, veg tan leather sole on the base, or you could use EVA, sole, um, EVA soling, rubber, anything you like really. This one, I actually just did one flat piece because um, I think that's quite nice for sandals, but, sorry, for slippers. Um, but for this one, I have little heel tips already on there, so I'll leave them on. Okay, so let's put all this to the side. First things first, let's cover these insoles. So I've got a piece of shearling here like this really cute and I'm just going to flip it upside down. I'm going to place my insoles on there and I'm going to trace around them with about a centimeter excess the whole way around. Okay so it looks something like this. Once you've done that you can go ahead and cut them out and yes you are going to get fluff everywhere. Okay, so once you've got those pieces cut out, we can take our glue. I'm using the non-toxic Aqualim glue, and I'm going to coat the whole bases of these pieces. All right, next you can go ahead and coat the top side of your insoles. Again, all the way to the edge. So once you've got them all glued up, you can then flip your insole so that it's sitting in the center like that. And then we want to put a strip of glue around the outside. All right, so once you've done that and it's had a little bit of time to dry, you can start folding the excess shielding over the edge so that you're fully covering the insole. And around the toe and the heel, you might need to put some little pleats in there just to get it around the edge. That's already looking so cute. <laughs> All right, so once we've done that, we need to remove a whole lot of the excess around here. And in fact, we actually want to get the fluffy bits um, completely cleared from the underside of the insoles. So for that, we're going to need a little knife. So I've got here just a regular box cutter and I'm just going to pull that all the way up and I'm just going to kind of shave off the excess that I don't need. And it should start to look something like that. So look at the difference there. But from the front, still very fluffy. So I'm going to do the same on the other one. All right, so I want to put my straps on in sort of a crossover manner like that. So I'm going to do this directly over my foot, but first thing I'm going to do is flip the insoles over and flip the straps over. And I'm just going to put 
some glue on the base of the insole and the ends of the straps so that when I put it over my foot, I can just stick it straight away. So I've put glue sort of all down that side and all down that side and just on the very ends of the straps. The reason I put it all the way down the side is just so that wherever I end up sticking the straps, there's glue there. Um, so it's kind of an untechnical way, but just fast, um, easy way to do it. All right, so I'm just gonna put these straps over my foot. I'm gonna start by placing my foot on there and just position the straps over the top. So it's pretty much looking something like that and like this from underneath. And I'll do the same with the other one. Always give them one last check on your feet before we start trimming any excess off. All right, I'm super happy with the positioning of those now. They look really good on the feet and off the feet. So last thing I'm gonna do before I put the soles on is just trim away some of that fluffy excess from the bottom of the straps with the knife. Okay, if you need to fill in any extra bits of glue, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, so the base of the slippers should be looking something like this now, and we are ready to stick on some soles. Now, I had already pre-cut the insoles to be a little bit smaller to fit my feet, but I left the soles a bit bigger because I actually want to trim them down really specifically to fit this. Oops. You might find that sometimes your soles are a little bit bigger than the insoles. So that's sitting really nicely on there, but you can see I've got a bit of excess to cut off the front. So I'm just going to place that right at the back. Okay, so I've drawn that excess off on there and I can cut that out. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that over onto the other sole. All right, so for gluing on the soles, I actually like to use the stronger stuff. So what I'm going to start by doing is just coating the base of the soles right up to the edge. And then coating the base of the insoles right up to the edge. Okay, so once you've given the soles enough time to dry, you can go ahead and stick them down. So I usually start at the heel and just really gently put it in place. So that's how the soles are looking from underneath and from the top they're looking so 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 cute and you can see the difference in the two styles how you know same process different slipper